let's get going. Sonia or Raf, I'll let either of you kick us off. I can go if that's all right. Yeah, but just please. Um, all right. Hi, Nat. It, it was a very different performance to the one at Chelmsford. How do you compare the two? Um, yeah, obviously different surfaces um, and a slightly different team as well. Obviously a less experienced one uh, with Catherine missing out. But yeah, I mean, we were, I mean, to lose that many wickets in the power play, we were doing a good job to get to what, I mean, we would have been very happy with 130, 140 in the end um, after the start that we had. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we just fell away at the end of our batting innings and couldn't quite get a partnership together that would have got us those 10, 15 more runs that we needed probably to take it deep um, in the second innings. New Zealand said, well, Sophie Devine said after the first game that maybe her side were a little bit rusty. Do you think that's sort of showing that maybe they're not so much after a couple of matches now? Um, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's difficult to come over and not having played a lot of cricket. And obviously we've um, had a lot of cricket over this summer. So, um, yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll obviously get into the game, but having lost the first game, we would have loved to, if we were in that position, we would have loved to bounce back and put in a better performance, which um, they did in the end and we couldn't stop them. And what do you put it down to? Do you think 127 would have been enough or was it a combination of batting and bowling? Um, a little bit of both. In the end, as I was just saying, when you've when you fielded second and it's got quite close and you, you sort of forget about the first innings, and I guess what that means. Um, and then you think, oh, you're disappointed that you lost it. But really, there was a lot of things that contributed um, to us not getting over the line really um, we were slightly off with the ball as well um, a few too many extras um, mm -hmm. and yeah but I mean people made a brilliant impact Maya obviously on her debut game um, coming out in the middle uh, when we weren't in a brilliant position she batted brilliantly um, and Maddie um, we know she's a brilliant fielder and, and a brilliant offspin and she seems to like this ground so um, yeah her impact was brilliant as well and finally, for me, I just wanted to say how big an impact it was not having the experience of Heather Knight and, and Catherine Brunt. Yeah, it's massive. Um, I mean, obviously, as a, as a squad, we want to um, adapt and make sure that the, the senior players that are, are out on the pitch are contributing in that way. And we didn't really do that time. So, um, yeah, we unfortunately, we, we missed them. Thank, Thank you. Thanks very much, Sonia. Um, sorry to Valkyrie and Sudarshan and that we started without you. Um, open to any other questions from the floor, please. Yes, please, Raf. Was it always the plan to have um, Maya debuting or, or was that um, caused by the fact that Heather's kind of sitting out with this hamstring problem? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> um, I haven't been part of the uh, the selection meetings, um, so I'm afraid I'll have to pass on that question. <laughs> Can you talk a bit about what she brings to the team and kind of why she's been why she's been brought in? And, and obviously, um, today we did see a little bit of um, her kind of showing what she can do. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's why she's here. She she had a great hundred, um, and I guess was was part of um, the Southern Brave side, and obviously batted in the middle and and scored some crucial runs for them. Um, but I mean, you saw saw glimpses of it today. Um, I guess it's always difficult to debut and, and try and forget or yeah. play, you know, play your shots or, or just go with your gut and things like that. So. Um, I'm sure she'll grow into the role of batting in the middle. And um, yeah, she also bowls, so that's an option as well. And Sophie Devine today um, must have been quite difficult to bowl to. Um, how does that compare with, because obviously you did um, bowl against her earlier in the year. Um, and at that point, she um, kind of looked 
not great mentally. Um, I mean, what, how, did, how did that compare, do you think, um, her today versus her a few months ago in New Zealand? Um, yeah, I mean, I think she still had that attacking intent, but probably it is more controlled with it now. Um, I guess when when she wasn't in a good place in New Zealand, she was probably a bit more reckless. Um, so she was certainly more controlled today and picked her, picked her ball to go at. So, um, yeah, that just means we have to execute better and, and make sure that when we do get our chance, um, we take it. Thank you. Thanks, Raf. Valkyrie, please. Thank you. Um, now, a crunch game, I guess, coming up in the next one. What do you sort of do between now and then to, you know, give yourselves the best chance of winning it? Um, yeah, I mean, we've got a few days um, before the next game. We'll obviously drive um, over to Taunton tomorrow. Um, we'll reflect and, and have a, probably a couple of good training days and make sure that that execution isn't anything... Um, uh, I'm sorry, it's nothing other than just execution that we're, we're doing on the pitch, really. Um, and, I mean, it's it's not long since we played at, at Chelmsford and it's only a few, it's a few days and things change so quickly. So, um, uh, yeah, I mean, we'd, we'd bat, bat our backers, sorry, bat, back our batters, that was difficult to say. Um <clears throat> just to to take on their shots and still still bring that positive intent. So um, yeah, hopefully we can we can get over the line in Taunton. Thank you. Thanks very much, Valkyrie. Sadarshanan, please. Okay, thanks, uh, commissioner, commiserations, uh, Natalie. But I wanted to know one thing about uh, England's fielding today because I mean we saw a uh, glance drop costing. You guys, you guys pretty much where uh, Divine was on 25 and she went on to make a 50. So uh, what you think changed in these uh, couple of days from the first day, 20 where you were kind of impeccable on the field and uh, possible kind of ways to address the issue? Um, I think fielding wise, we had a pretty, pretty good day. Unfortunately, that, that catch went down. I think it might have gone in the light. Um, but I mean, yeah, obviously, in terms of fielding, we, we work hard on our fielding and um, making sure that we give ourselves best chance to take the half chances, take the difficult catches um, and making sure our basics are, are on point. So, um, yeah, in, in terms of in the field, I thought that we were we were really good today. And when we squeezed, um, we were creating chances. Um, yeah, it's just unfortunate that, that catch went down. And uh, lastly, like, oh, sorry for asking another difficult question, but how does England feel coming to home? Because uh, this was what your sixth loss in 70, 20 years. So do you kind of have a different mindset, <laughs> mindset or anything else? Do you kind of do these records kind of play I and mean, stay at the back of your mind? Um, I, yeah, I didn't know that our record was so bad at home. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I can put that down to anything. Um, we, we enjoy playing here um, and there's, there's always a nice family feel to the ground. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what that's down to. Um, yeah, hopefully we can change that around next time. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. Thank you. We won't stop playing at Hove, Raph. We like the beach too much. Uh, <laughs> Jeremy, please. Hi there. How are you doing? Uh, um, commiserations for tonight. Um, I was just the, the next game is effectively a final. I think the last game of the India series was uh, effectively a final. I wondered um, sort of uh, preparations going into that and how that sets you up for the winter ahead with the the Ashes and the World Cup um, campaign. Yeah, I mean we're we're away away from a T20 World Cup, but obviously T20 is a big part of the Ashes, um, and I mean it's just playing under pressure and playing in, in must-win games is really important for our, our squad and our side to be able to, um, I guess, deal with the pressure and, and make sure that we can still perform under it. Um, we're hoping, obviously, um, that Catherine is, is back for our last game and, and Heather as well. So 
Um, hopefully a bit more experience in our lineup will also help us. Um, but yeah, I mean, we that's what that's why we play. We want to play under pressure and, and win the games that mean the most. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to Taunton. I guess sort of that the playing under pressure in the hundred for, for a lot of the younger players like my ads, they're not as phased coming into big games like tonight. Yeah, that's right. Um, that's why the hundred is is so important um, to play in front of big crowds um, that add that pressure, and obviously the TV and, and all the all the fanfare around the games is really important, um, and for the cricket to be great quality. So, um, yeah, Maya came in and, and didn't look too phased. So yeah, we're really pleased for her. That's great. Thanks very much. Uh, good luck for for Taunton. Thank you. Thanks very much, everyone. See you in Taunton. Thanks, Anne.